Welcome to Storytelling. Today I going to explain 2018 Indian Kannada language action thriller movie called KGF Chapter 1. Spoilers ahead. The movie begins with a television news channel interviewing journalist Anand Inglagi, whose book El Dorado, which detailed the events at the Kolar Gold Fields, KGF, between 1951 and 2018 which was banned by the Indian government. The interview goes to flashback. Government officials discovered gold ore in the southern part of India's Mysore state in 1951. Coincidentally, Rocky was born on the same day to a poor underage widow, Shantama. Suryavardhan, a powerful don who accompanied the officials, had his henchmen execute all of them, anticipating the increasing demand for gold owing to the Cold War, Suryavardhan deceitfully set up a shell company on that land, Narachi, bought for a 99-year lease under the pretext of mining limestone but secretly establishes KGF. He had five associates, all of whom operate outside KGF, Kamal, son of Suryavardhan's former associate and the owner of Varka Gold Refinery Plant, Rajendra Desai, who oversees the transportation of the refined gold bars. Andrews, who oversees the gold smuggling in the western coast, Guru Pandian, a powerful politician and president of the DIS party, and Adhira, Suryavardhan's brother who heads the security of KGF. However, each of them had their eyes on the mines. Shitty, Andrew's underboss, is a gold smuggler in Bombay, who competes against a rival smuggler, Dubai-based teen Ayat Khalil. Rocky arrives in Bombay as a 10-year-old on a quest for wealth and power as desired by his dying mother, and begins to work for Shetty. Years later, he becomes Shetty's right-hand man, and with an iron fist, oversees the arrival of African gold bars to the Bombay coast. Rocky soon rises in strength and power, rivaling Shetty's own influence. This attracts the attention of Andrews, who offers him Bombay in return for assassinating Garuda, Suryavardhan's elder son, who has been anointed the future heir of KGF after Suryavardhan suffered a heart attack which paralyzed him. Rocky accepts the offer and heads to Bangalore, where a statue inauguration is organized for luring Garuda out of KGF once there. He witnesses the authority and power that Garuda commands to have the attempt averted even before it began. In the present, seeing no other option to murder Garuda, Rocky makes his way into KGF evading a unit of Garuda's henchmen. Once there, he witnesses the brutality to which the slaves are subjected. Although apathetic at first, he is moved by an incident involving the cold-blooded murder of a mother and son at the hands of a guard. The slaves' children hope that Rocky will liberate them. Rocky stealthily accesses the map of the mine in the maintenance room during a roll call and narrowly escapes death after a fellow slave sacrifices himself to save the lives of his wife and unborn child, Andrews, Kamal, and Ishai are misinformed by their spies about the incident and assume Rocky is killed. Rocky engages in a fight with an entire unit of 23 guards, killing each one of them to save a blind slave they were about to brutally murder. With this act, Rocky emerges as a messiah in the slave's eyes. Rocky later orders them to burn the guards' corpses to let Desai and his men know he is still alive via their informants, Kulkarni and Garuda's younger brother, Virat, and that he is ready to kill Garuda, as discussed with them earlier. Noticing the fire, an alarmed Veneram informs, Garuda of the missing guards. Garuda sends his hitmen toward the mines and prepares to leave his residence. To avert the imminently arriving hitmen from witnessing the burning bodies, Virat kills Surya Vardhan, in order to sidetrack Garuda, who rushes back home. Shaken by the recent bad turn of events, Garuda orders Ma Kali's ritual to be rescheduled from the following week to the next day, planning to kill his father's allies as soon as the ritual is complete. The next day, Rocky heads unsuspected through a tunnel to the site where Garuda has decided to behead three slaves as offerings to the goddess. Veneram rushes towards the site but is too late. Upon Garuda's arrival and sacrifice of two slaves, a concealed Rocky emerges and beheads him. The ecstatic slaves accept Rocky as their leader as they cheer him on. The narrator indicates, however, that this is just the beginning. The news of Garuda's murder passes far and wide. Ramakasen, a no-nonsense politician, gets a hint of the impending problem, Adhira, who was presumed to be dead, hears the news of Garuda's death and plans to resurface, and so does Inayat Khalil in Dubai. As, Veneram orders his men to attack Rocky and his army, a gunshot is heard. Inglagi concludes that Rocky intentionally chose KGF as the location to assassinate Garuda, thereby inspiring an army of slaves to help him seize control over it. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications for more videos. Thanks for watching.